The way I like to think about your website is it's really like the home for your online business or brand. And so I know we talk a lot about social media and Instagram on here, but I wanted to create this video about how to create a strong website yourself, doing it yourself, because it's such an important piece of growing online, growing your brand, all of those things. So we're going to dive into all of that today and all of the different programs that I use for my website, where I got my website template, how I customized it and all of those things. So if you're someone who's wanting to create your own website and wanting to do it well, this video is going to give you a very complete picture of how to do that and how to create a very beautiful home for your business online. First thing we need to go over is what platform that I use for my website. So I currently use a website platform called Show It. And the reason that I absolutely adore it is it's a very it's very intuitive in the sense that you basically just drag and drop where you think, want things in your website template and it really the sky's the limit. The only thing limiting you is what you can think of. And so it really gives you so much flexibility and being able to create such an amazing website from start to finish and design it exactly how you want to. So I adore show it and I will be with them forever because they are just amazing. They have great customer service in my experience working with them. So I would highly recommend checking into show it and it is a monthly or yearly subscription but the nice thing is that subscription actually comes with not only the website platform but also your website host so the only thing you have to pay for besides show it is a website domain and so it just makes it very streamlined and kind of takes you know all these pieces you might have to pay for like your um, website host and then your website platform and then your website design like it kind of combines that all into one platform so you're only paying for one thing every month and then once you dive into show it and pay for a subscription there are a lot of free templates you can actually use to create your show it website but I went the route of purchasing a template from a graphic designer so I wanted something that not a lot of people were using I wanted something that I could easily customize for my own brand that was more of a better starting base for what I had envisioned for what I wanted my website to look like and after researching literally dozens if not hundreds of different designers I kind of went a little crazy um, I landed on a Elizabeth McCravey. And if you don't know about her, she is just a very awesome website designer. And she not only does a full custom design, but she also has a whole shop called the EM shop that has so many amazing, beautiful templates, whether you are a coach or a content creator, or you are a wedding professional or a photographer, or no matter what you do, she has so many amazing templates for, you know, entrepreneurs and is very, they're very well thought out. Not only is the design gorgeous and it makes it look like you have a high end website without actually paying for a high end website. The way that she creates her templates are very strategic in the sense of she wants, she lays everything out for you and helps give you prompts of what to say on your website and lays it out in a way that is, you know, basically proven to help convert and actually help people stay on your website and actually buy from you. So that's why I love her. I love her combination of business strategy within her website templates and the beauty of their design. And so I actually have a 12% off link. We'll link it down below. If you use the code Stephanie, you get 12% off any of her templates, which is kind of a big deal because she doesn't do a lot of sales on her templates. So be sure to check that out if you want to have a beautiful template. The awesome thing that I love about her templates as well is they come with the ability, or she comes with like a course on how to use Show It. So Show It can be a little confusing if you aren't familiar with it, like most other programs, right? And while they have customer support, the awesome thing about Elizabeth's templates is she includes a basically mini course on how to use the templates and how to, um, yeah, how to use them and create with them and design them and change them to tweak it to your own brand. So. They are just amazing. I cannot say enough good things about her. I genuinely love her and her brand and have loved um, working with her for my own website template. So I ended up going with the Gina website template. It's kind of like the starting template that I used for my own website and my own brand and obviously customized a lot of things about it. So we've got these main things in place now. You know where to host your website. You know where to get a good website template. Now I want to talk a little bit about how to actually create your brand and how to create the website so it actually stands out. So 
before you actually go into the process of designing or tweaking that template or your website or whatever, I think it's really important to make sure you have a strong brand. And the first thing that I like to do is number one, um, sit down and just brain dump. Like what, who is my ideal client? What kind of problems am I solving? Who is this person? Where do they live? Where do they shop? What are their pain points? What are the things they go through in their day to day life? And this is something that's really important for having a very strong brand. So it's why I recommend doing this first. And I also, for the visual part of my brand, I also use Pinterest to create Pinterest boards and to give me a good idea of what I want my brand to be. And when I'm thinking about what I want my brand to be, I'm thinking about who my ideal client is and what my personal brand is. Because I have a very personal brand when it comes to my business, I'm making sure that my brand that comes to life it visually is something that reflects me as a person and just makes sense. But I'm also keeping in mind who my ideal client is and who they are and what would attract them to my business. So you kind of want to merge those two and create a brand visually that is um, that represents that. And I think an easy way to find out what you want that to look like visually is just to head over to Pinterest, create a new board. I think I named mine something along the lines of like 2020 brand vision. And I would recommend just pinning things that inspire you pin things that you're drawn to and this will give you a good idea of what you are drawn to visually especially if you have a personal brand very similar to me you want to make sure that your brand reflects you and then once you have a good visual of what you know the different things you are pinning you can go back to that board scroll through it and say okay what are the, the colors i'm drawn to what are the different like patterns that i'm seeing what are the like the what are the different things that are very similar in the things that I am pinning. And then you can kind of take that and merge that with, you know, if there's anything you need to tweak to attract more of your ideal client, right? You can tweak that to merge your ideal client with your personal brand, if that makes sense. So I would recommend doing that. That's your next step. Go to Pinterest, create a board, and make sure that you have a good visual of what you want your website to be. Once I have those two things in place, I know my brand ideal client and my messaging, and I know what I want the visuals to be like. The next thing that I did was I picked the colors for my brand and I picked out patterns for my brand and different other visual elements that you might want in your brand. So I actually used Creative Market. We'll link it down below to find unique branding elements for my brand. So like I found some patterns on there. I found some really pretty like floral illustrations that I could use to make patterns and to use in my own brand that was going to be completely different from anyone who used that website template. And I found I chose those branding elements based on what I was pinning to that Pinterest board, who my ideal client is, and taking that in mind and creating um, essentially what I did is also created a brand board. And I believe I got a template for this somewhere. If I did, I'll link it down below from whoever I got it from. But essentially it's just, you know, taking those colors that you've decided to have for your brand, putting them in one place, taking fonts. That's an, also another thing that I got from Creative Market is I researched different fonts and found fonts that were unique to me and changed them out in the website template. So when you purchase a font from Creative Market, you can, you know, add it to your computer, you can add it, upload it to your, upload it to show it and use it on your website template. And so you can create, kind of customize the template even more by choosing your own fonts. And so after doing that, I just basically compiled all of these things, my colors, my fonts, my different brand elements onto this brand board. And then this is kind of the, it gives the complete picture of what my entire brand is going to look like when I'm creating my website. When I'm actually creating my website, obviously going to that brand board, taking those different elements, incorporating it in different areas of your website, using your brand colors, using your fonts, those are really important. Make sure you're changing that out in your template to match your brand, obviously, right? Uh, I think that's probably your first step after you get your templates. Make sure you change out colors, change out fonts, all of those things. Here are a few things that I like to even mind too when I'm creating my website and making it very impactful for my business. So number one, I like to think of my website like a journey. So Think about what's the journey you want someone to go on when they come onto your website. Well, my camera battery just died. So it's probably my sign to move on to the next point. And the next point I really wanted to talk about on here is basically what are some must have pages of your website. So, you know, including thinking about making your website a journey, right? So what are those different steps of the journey someone's going to take? In my opinion, the must have pages are number one, your homepage, 
obviously. Um, number two, an about page about you, which really you want to make your about page more about them and like how you can help them. Uh, number three, either your services, products, shop, resources, page, whatever it is that you offer, like whatever it is pay that someone can purchase from you, have a page with that thing, right? The last one is contact. So how can someone get in touch with you, especially if you're a service-based business, this is very important. Or if you have a brick and mortar, make sure you have a contact page with your location and all of that. I want to add on to this too. Another page that's really important, at least for me and my business, is having a blog. So if you are someone who's wanting to increase your website traffic and wanting to really build out this home that you have for your brand, a blog is a great way to do that. And I recommend it for pretty much any business owner. So that's also, those are the main pages I would say that you need to have on your website and to be building out on your website. And again, Elizabeth incorporates like you have a template for each of these things when you buy from her, which is the awesome thing. So I hope this was really helpful in getting you to think about how to create a strong website and how to DIY it for yourself. So if you have any other questions about creating a website, drop them below. I would be more than happy to answer any questions for you or to create more videos like this in the future on websites and all of the fun things. So again, the links to everything that I talked about in this video will be in the description, the links to show it, to um, the discount code for Elizabeth's website templates, all of those fun things, um, creative market, all of that would be down below. So again, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I upload new videos around here every Tuesday and Thursday. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, all the things you guys already know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.